Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about sclerosis imaging. Technology Lateral curvature of spines with curved angle of more than or equal 10 degrees. Flexible, non-structural, correct with epsilon. Progress need not be included in fusion. Rigid structural does not correct with epsilateral bending. Cop angle remain more than equal twenty five on epsilateral bending. Included in spinal sugar. Curve etiology. Some dinos. Cis span category. Neopathic most common. 70 to 85 percent of all sclerosis. Classify according to time of onset. Infantile less than Three years of age, mostly developed during first six months of life. Typical convex left thoracic curve, seventy percent. Male more than female, juvenile, four to nine years. Typical convex right thoracic curve, more likely to progress. Adolescent more than ten years, most common type convex right thoracic. Curve predominant in female. Congenital about ten percent. Also genetic segmentation anomaly. Neuropathy sharing. Tetra cord. Diastematomalia. Neuromuscular. Single long curve, neuropathic cherry one, cerebral palsy, neuropathic muscular disease, spinal muscular atrophy, developmental skeletal dysplasia or dysostosis, tumor associated, osteoid osteoid, cord neoplast, neurofibroma. Presentation. Most common sign symptom. Usually is symptomatic. Idiopathic sclerosis is usually detected during physical exam. Pain from progressive curvature or degenerative disease and fossa disease. Demography. Epidemiology. 0.2 to 0.5% of population in USA. Sex. AIS, female predilection. Girl tend to progress more than boy in idiopathic sclerosis. PA radiograph of 13 years old during follow up of adolescent idiopathic sclerosis. So 47 convex right thoracic and 47 convex left thoraco. Lumbar curvature, the terminal and apical vertebra of each curve are noted. The image is displayed from the present perspective of the exam, meaning operating orthopedist. Frontal a lateral radiograph of the spine in the four years old with an unknown form of muscular dystrophy, so a severe effect left curvature of the thoracolumbar spine with mild kyphos. Frontal radiograph, so 60 degree of convex. Blackbird, spoilers.
of the spine T7 to L2. This is a one year old with a infantile type of idiopathic scoliosis. This is ultrasound image in a four years old with infantile idiopathic scoliosis and magnetically control grow oral show a 5 mm descent between the housing unit and the neck of the standard path. This was performed in ultrasound prior to lengthening. This is the ultrasound image in same patient perform five minute layer so that the distance between the housing of the extending part now measure eight mm confirming suggest success of the manipulation by magnet. This is non contrasting on CT in a seven years old. With congenital scoliosis, so any vertebra at T4 and T8, CT can be very helpful in assessing congenital curve due to vertebra anomaly and for planning surgery in otherwise complex cases. Frontal sitting radiograph, so an Eight months old with a four T convex leg curvature of the thoracic lumbar spine. This was classified as infantile idiopathic scoliosis. This infant was treated with meta casting and eventual placement of magnetic growing road. Treatment. Metacasting for infantile sclerosis idiopathic observed if less than 20 degree in adolescent or less than 30 in skeletally mature at presentation. Brass, although more than or a core 10 years, 25 to 45 degree at presentation, rise to 0 to 2. More than 25 with progression. Such a curve, curve, curve more than 45. Progressive curve that fail passing. Posterior spinal shoe with engagement of all three spine column as by pedicle screw. Thank you.